Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from my color screen. If you're looking for a dark, minimal, brilliant looking home screen, well then you've come to the right place with today's video tutorial. Let us begin. Great, so this fantastic screen called Vertical Status Bar produced by Burrow is an ideal situation where minimal and a dark theme combine. It's got that dark woods background over here that looks brilliant on any phone. It'll start us off with this little red icon here that once tapping it will bring up our app drawer. Easy like that. I'm sorry for the screen glare. This lighting isn't too good, but enough of that. We've got our brilliant red uh, time over here that combines with our little red discharging light over there that if you plug in your phone, it goes green, which I quite enjoy. I got a little kick out of that. So let's look at the status bar. We've got the time, we've got the date there, as well as this agenda, and we got some weather. But now what if we want a little bit more information than that? That's not enough. Well, Look at that, boom, we just slide, slid it across and it gives us a little bit more information for our day, for our weekly weather forecast. Yes, that's right, I love this setup. I really enjoyed setting the screen up and I think I might keep it for a while. I just, I just enjoy doing this, I can do this for pretty much hours. So if you'd like to know how to recreate this Android home screen setup, then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so as you can see, we'll be using Lightning Launcher for this setup. I've set it back to stock, so it's completely blank, ready for the setup. So the very first thing you wanna do is hold down on the home screen, select Edit Layout, select Customize Lightning, scroll all the way down to the bottom where you'll select Backup, where you'll now back up this screen, no matter what, if it's blank, you'll just be creating that backup folder on your SD card. Once it's been backed up, you're gonna be going into your, all of your apps. There's one in the middle here. That one selected will bring up your app drawer. And you wanna go into any file explorer. I highly recommend using ES File Explorer. Now what you also wanna do on your PC is to download the zip file and either unzip it on your computer or unzip it just simply right in ES File Explorer. You want this vertical status bar. As you can see, once unzipped the folder, you've come up with these various files such as your lightning launcher settings, your super widgets that end in .zw, as well as a few other files such as your wallpaper. Now the first thing you want to be doing is copying your lightning launcher backup, which is represented by the LL underscore settings. So what I'm going to do is hold down on it, it's going to select it, and I'm just going to select copy. You can go back now, and you want to go into your lightning launcher folder which will be located in your SD card as you can see over here and the lightning launcher folder is over here. So I'm just gonna select it now. It'll bring up all these different um, backups that I've done previously, but all you wanna do now is paste in your, that lightning launcher settings file and it'll just basically input it into this folder and that'll be needed for the restore later on. Next, what you wanna do is go back into this vertical status bar folder where you wanna copy the two .zw files that will be your blank as well as your status bar. Once those have been selected, you're gonna copy them once again. And now, however, you do need the pro version of Super Widget or Super Widget Pro in order to do this as the free version doesn't support custom templates like the one we're gonna be using. So hopefully you have purchased it and it'll now hopefully create that folder, that Super Widget folder in your SD card once again. And once you select that, it'll bring up a few folders. You wanna be selecting templates. Once this template has been opened up, you can see I've already pasted in a few of these. So all you wanna do is paste it into your templates folder like this. It's gonna it's gonna input them in like that, and that is all your background stuff done. Now we can move on to customizing Lightning Launcher. So we're just gonna go back now, back once again, and let's move on to Lightning Launcher. Great, so for Lightning Launcher, a very easy, simple setup. We're just gonna be holding down on the home screen. We're gonna be selecting Customize Lightning now. Scroll all the way down to Restore, where we'll be selecting that LL underscore settings file that we can see before us like that. Once that is done, we're gonna select back. Great, so now this backup should hopefully set up your wallpaper as well as these side widgets over here and all the other settings are set up for you. All you have to do now is add an icon at the bottom and customize the status bar. Great, so we'll start off with adding in that little red app draw icon at the bottom. To do that, you just need to hold down on the home screen, select add now, you wanna select application. 
whereby it'll bring up all your apps that you would need and the only one that you need to be selecting is the one called all apps it takes a while to load this up but once it has you want to select all apps and it should appear like that now you want to drag it as close as you can into the bottom corner there from here you just want to hold down on it you want to select customize and you want to select an icon now you want to go into your gallery and you're welcome to use either your gallery or your quick pick whichever you prefer i always prefer quick pick personal preference but now you're going to be going into that folder that you've copied onto your phone where you'll be selecting that little red dot just like that it's going to select it for you now you're even welcome to drag it in even closer but for now i'm just going to select back and back again and let's see how it works you're just going to select it boom brings up your app drawer how cool is that so that is your icon done next we'll be moving on to the status bar great so for the status bar very easy to do as you can see the widgets are here however you just need to change them to suit your personal needs in this case it'll be the needs of setting up the screen so we're first going to start off with the zupa widgets as you can see they'll be rep represented at the top here with these two that couldn't add widget text here so those will be these long bars that you'll be configuring and in order to do that you want to hold down on wherever you just want to select edit layout and then tap the first one here make sure that it's selected the entire bar you want to hold down on it now you want to say select another widget and you'll be selecting zupa widget here so i'm going to scroll all the way down to zupa widget and i highly recommend a seven by one just because it worked pretty well for me so it should for you so i'm just going to select back but if it doesn't maybe go for a six by one i'm not too sure so you're going to select back and now it should have a little hand pop up saying resize or tap to start so we're going to tap that hand and hopefully it's going to bring up our super widget customization from here we're going to be selecting sd card because remember we pasted it into the sd card templates folder and you want to be selecting status bar it's going to load up that status bar widget that we've copied and it should first configure it for you like this now i know that it doesn't fit too well because i've got my nexus 4 navigation bar at the bottom so i'm gonna have to shift shift everything up a little bit just to make everything fit nicely so from here if you don't know what it is first just select back and then you can see how it looks and then you can just tap somewhere like wherever there's no text and you'll be able to get back into this editor so i'm just going to select layout now remember if you're not too clued up on how zupa widget works check in the link below in the description as well as everything you need in the description for a complete guide on how to use zupa widget so i'm just going to be selecting or moving everything up a bit so let's first go for text which will be our time at the bottom and i'm going to move it up four large spaces so well we want to be selecting our y offset so let's go go one two three four and it's going to be up four times and you want to be doing that for each one of them if you're using a nexus 4 it just seemed to work out work out pretty well for me so i'm going to move it up four times for each one of them including the temperature as well as the temperature condition such as if it's fair stormy whatever it is but remember just move those just the time the date and the weather don't don't touch anything else so we're just going to select back and then back once again and it should hopefully shift everything up and that it will look all fine and dandy now we're going to be configuring the black bar uh, zupa widget so in order to do that we're going to hold down on it we're going to select another widget make sure that it's selected the entire thing and we're going to scroll all the way to another zupa widget let's go for another seven bar one just because it worked out so well in the last one so we're going to select back now and as you can see we want to get back to that hand again so i'm just going to select somewhere at the top it'll bring up our menu once again i'm going to select sd card now remember to try and get as high as you can in order to get into this editor menu and we want to go for black which will just load up this simple black bar black bar and there's nothing much to it no editing so we're just going to go back see how that looks go back again so if we swipe across it should have loaded that black bar as you can see just plain black like that that is our zupa widgets done next we're going to be moving on to the simple calendar widget that we'll be placing over here great so in order to set up the simple calendar widget it is a bit tricky because it's kind of hidden you can't really see where it is so in order to get there we're just going to hold down in this general area and you should be getting this these handles that look like this in this area so don't select say this one that's or this one that selects it there you want to get it so it's just more or less where this line is what you want to do now is hold down on it 
make sure that you get it correct and you want to select another widget as now we'll be selecting simple calendar widget so I went for a simple calendar large remember this is from the makers of my color screen <laughs> so it's a quite a cool app to use as it's free and it's very customizable as you can see what the lightning launcher has done is make it already rotated 90 degrees so you don't have to worry anything about that but now remember that if you want to get into the editor mode of simple calendar widget if we select back get a get out of edit layout for lightning launcher we want to get into edit layout for the simple calendar widget sorry if that was a bit confusing but we're just going to select basically the top or where the words end so selecting like that brings up the editor from here there's just a few things that we want to be changing not too much though we're going to appearance and we're going to skin tweaks there will be three things that we want to change firstly alternative layouts we're going to select it now and the author went for the one that's got the date the text the time whatever all in one row just like this all next to each other so i'm just going to select the third one that's the line color now we don't want a line color at all so i just made mine fully transparent and i think that worked out quite well so slide it all the way to the right hand side and select ok now for the day text width we don't want a day text whatsoever so we're going to slide that all the way to the left and make it zero px pixels so we want to go back once again and that is all of our skin tweaks done so all the things we want to change left or change now are the show today tomorrow going to select that now and background color we also want to make it fully transparent i'm not sure if this makes a difference I know the gingerbread fans they can't change the background color unfortunately so but I think still think you should be able to do without it as it's just a darker shade so I'm just going to select that color and select OK and you're always welcome if you're not too sure how this is going to look select that little eye at the top as this will now show you how it's going to be looking like remember we do have a complete guide to simple calendar widget in the description below so you might want to check that out that looks very good I really enjoy that so I'm going to go back again and select the tick and it should be more customized right now so one thing to take note is that because it's not really customized for the nexus 4 some things will have to be modified such as the size so i'm going to hold down on it again and from here you can change the different patterns to change it to change the aspect ratio of this so but now remember because it's 90 rotated 90 degrees things can get confusing but the one thing I do recommend you do is just hold down on it to drag it away, hold down on it again and select position and move front slash behind as now you want it to be bringing it to the top because now when you drag it over it should be over everything which I think is a lot better. So now the trick is just to get that first line of whatever you're doing in your agenda to be above this white line or to the left of the white line. And another thing to take note is that as you can see it's going to be colliding with my weather over here so there's another trick that you can do with lightning launcher as you can see these are just the simple pads that change everything according to the right size or the aspect ratio i guess you could call it but if we select it again it brings up these black arrows and you need to be careful with these bad boys because what these will be doing is just literally changing this the length or the width so let's just see if we do that as you can see it just scrunches it up so be careful with that you don't want to make it too scrunched up and looks makes the text look ugly but i'm just going to leave it a little bit scrunched up like that just so i can make things fit and see how it looks later on so if we select back now it should you should only be able to see that first line which is a-ok -okay and it's good to go so next we're going to move to the iron sky weather widgets great so the iron sky weather very easy to add we're just going to hold down on this first one here that's going to be our pure icon so make sure that it's just only it's only this one that's being selected as you can see it's just that little short tubby one here so you want to hold down on it you want to say select another widget but this time around yes that's right we're going to be going for eye and sky so let's just scroll down a bit fantastic fantastic free app we're going to go for iron sky icon now there's only one or two things to change here firstly the icon for Climacon's light, that's the icon that you'll be needing. Just tap down the drop down menu and you want to select Climacon's light. Next thing you want to do is to change the background color. So if we just tap it here, you want to make it fully to the right hand side of the transparency bar like that. And you want to select the new color to save it and it should be fully transparent. Next, what you want to do is to deselect all of these options here. So you don't want your edit dots, you don't want your show refresh. You just want this pure badass looking icon just like that i'm going to select ok now and it should make it look pretty good like this you maybe want to make it 
to the side a little depending on what you moved around just to make it fit perfectly next to that to the temperature so we're just going to select back that looks pretty good swipe down now now we just need to add in the second iron sky weather widget exactly the same way so we're just going to hold down on it make sure that it's been selected as you can see it's these this area over here so we're just going to hold down on it select another widget once again we're going to scroll all the way where is it now so many widgets you want to go for forecast this time as you'll be forecasting your weather for the entire week so from here climate cons lights once again background color transparent once again it hopefully should have saved it for you and all of these icons deselected once again so all that's done we're going to be selecting okay now and it should hopefully set it up for you like that you're welcome to move it up or down so i'm just going to move mine down a bit and resize it the same way we did to that agenda so if we go back now back again it's hidden from view that is the home screen complete thank you very much for watching please leave a like or comment if you haven't already and please please subscribe our numbers are continually growing and getting better every day so you also want to check out our facebook google plus twitter communities and hopefully soon the instagram account i guess you could call it check below in the description as we are we always want to expand our social communities so thank you very much guys for watching marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing